Uh, it's a dream. Uh, I mean, it's such a special, uh, I feel so fortunate to be a part of it, uh, whatever small part you play as a coach. Uh, and I'm so happy for, for our athletes. I mean, you know, your, your student athletes, we've had the opportunities to go to the nationals, we've had some opportunities to do, play some tremendous series against top teams in the country. But to do something in Boston, where we obviously have a lot of New England kids, uh, on a national stage, and to, for our athletes to have that opportunity, uh, that just really gets you excited. And, and then, Dog days of August. It's a little hard to think ahead, but I, you know, today sort of got the juices flowing, and uh, certainly everybody's going to be pumped as the as the uh, day it approaches. Of course, everyone's excited. I mean, it's, it doesn't really get any better than this playing at Fenway Park. So I think everyone's really looking forward to it, ready to prepare. Season starts pretty soon, so. So it's been a pretty exciting career. A couple of Frozen Fours, and now to get a chance to play at Fenway Park. Uh, how does this rate, you think, or will rate when you take a look at your hockey career? I mean, this is off the top. I mean, it doesn't really get better than this being a local kid. I mean, whoever thought I'd be playing at Fenway Park or things like that. So I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to it. So. Well, at first we heard probably like a month ago or so, and it was one of those things like, oh, I really hope it happens, but I hope it doesn't fall through. I hope this really, you know, and as the time went on and as it got closer and there was still more and more buzz about it, that's when we really started getting excited. It's like we didn't want our hopes to get up too high and then, you know, fall through. So, but now that's happening, we're so excited and we feel so lucky to get this opportunity. It's, it's something for the city. It's something to show off college hockey, to show off the sport of ice hockey at all levels, pro, men's and women's college. Uh, I think that in and of itself is, is worthwhile, but I, I do believe that this will be mostly for the for the students that are playing in the game and for those families that have the students. There's something like the bean plot that way, you know. I think it's most important that, that they get tickets, that they're in the building, and that, that they uh, they get to witness this firsthand because their sons and daughters will nobody will ever do this again probably. So it's, it'll be it'll be really something for them. I think it's a tribute to Hockey East and their continued commitment to the women's game as well as college hockey and the recognition locally that in, with the other constituents and sports groups that women's college hockey is a competitive environment, um, it's viable, it's growing, and that it's worthy of this opportunity. Nah. Sure. Well, we thought, uh, you know, the, particularly the mayor of Boston thought it was important to open up the ballpark to the entire community to let people see the ice, use the ice. So there will be public skating, there will be uh, private events, there will be college games, pro games. So we're, we're, it's kind of a Fenway Winter Festival, and uh, skating and outdoor skating is a sort of a part of all of our childhood and our history. So we thought uh, having it at Fenway would be a great way to celebrate. And I guess with the timing one month before the Olympics, you couldn't be more pleased to have something like this happen. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, that's a good uh, a good point, and um, we'd be uh, we'd be interested in having the Olympic team uh, come uh, to have a practice here or something. So maybe we'll pursue that as well. Is that nice? Huh? <laughs> I think they'll see competitive hockey. I think they'll see you know the high skill level that the women play at. Um, there's speed. There's you know excitement. Uh, there's parity within within our game, and uh, there's plenty of young girls now growing up in this area in particular, um, where girls hockey and youth hockey is growing exponentially as well. So we want kids to come see this game and families come see this game and want their kids to grow up wanting to be a Husky women's hockey player.